Predicting the Physical Dynamics of Unseen 3D Objects We investigate the problem of predicting the 3D dynamics of a rigid object moving along a plane which has just been subjected to an impulsive force. As a result, the object acquires an initial velocity moving along the plane until it comes to rest due to friction or topples over. Our goal is to accurately predict the change in the object's 3D position, rotation, linear and angular velocities, and stability at each time step. We first show some results for our method that predicts the dynamics of a variety of different object shapes. Our method is capable of detecting when an object topples. Our method is trained on different objects and shapes. It can generalize to shapes and initial velocities that were not observed before, such as the ones shown here. We can also readily use our method to predict the dynamics of real-world objects. We use the 3D shape of the object represented as a point cloud as input to our method. We assume that the object moves on a plane under standard gravity, friction and density are uniform and constant, and that the object eventually comes to rest or topples over due to friction and the absence of external forces. Predicting the dynamics of this problem is challenging because of complex 3D motions like wobbling, or toppling when the object becomes unstable. We present a neural network to predict generalizable dynamics for 3D rigid objects. Assuming constant friction, the change in the state of an object depends on its starting linear and angular velocities. The nonlinear changes in rotation, angular velocity, and stability depend on factors such as object mass distribution, friction, and the contact surface area and shape. We use these observations to design a neural network architecture with two main parts. The shape processing branch aims to learn salient shape features that are crucial to making accurate predictions. The state prediction branch is responsible for predicting the change in state at each time step based on the extracted shape features and the input velocities. We use 3D simulation data to train our network on thousands of simulations of different object shapes using a physics engine. Please see the paper for more details. We also use hundreds of objects from ShapeNet, a large shape repository, to make our network generalize to previously unseen shapes. Here we show more results. In a few cases, our method produces large errors, which we show here. Here we show a qualitative comparison against a baseline. Please see the paper for more details. Here we show more real-world results for sequences where ground truth was acquired using a motion capture system. Here we show more results. Thank you for watching.